How to send Canva newsletter with MailChimp. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create newsletter with Canva and you can also send them with the help of MailChimp. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to canva.com then you have to sign into your account. The second thing is to go to MailChimp, then you have to log in if you have an account. If you don't have, just sign up. I'm going to log in on my account within MailChimp. Here we are going to put the username right here or email, the password and keep us logged in. Simply I'm going to type this password, click on login. We can see that we are logged in successfully to your account. I will do this verification later and I will see here the platform. Now let's go back to canva.com and we are going to proceed the newsletter creation. Here on the site or the search bar right here I'm going simply to type newsletter and it will show us the templates or the dimensions to create this newsletter. Let's go here and select a newsletter and then we are going to customize it. Here we have to click on show more. We have some free and some paid newsletter. Let's say that we are going to use one of these like that. I'm going to use this, click on customize this template and here we have it. Now let's say that we have the these three images or these three newsletter. I'm going simply to remove some of the elements and simply add some photos to make it a little bit customized. Like that, you can go ahead and put this image. I'm going to put it right there. Stretch it a little bit like that. And here we have it. For this picture, delete that. And I'm going to add something right there. Add this one like this. Crop it. And I'm going to move it like this. And for this one also, I'm going to delete that. So we are going to add something like this. Go ahead and replace that. And for this image also, I'm going to delete it and add something else. You can add this portrait, put it right here, find out more. And here we have it. And the third image, same thing. Go ahead and delete whatever you want. Make it like that. Make it a uh, stretch it a little bit longer and put something like this in the end. And here we have it. Now, the first thing that you need to do when you finish here the newsletter setup is to go ahead to the share. Now, on the share, you are going to download each one of the pages as a PDF format. We're going to download the first one, click on download as PDF standard. Here we are going to download the first one. It is ready. Let's go ahead and uh, download the th second one. Deselect everything, select only the second page. Wait for it, it will be downloaded. And here we are going to get the third one also. Go ahead and here, deselect everything, select only the third one, click on download. Now, you can go ahead and click on the share button and you can share this template to MailChimp. You will see here the integration within MailChimp. So we are going to see here under the messaging app or the messaging integrations, we have MailChimp. Click on it and we have to connect our MailChimp account. Simply right here, go ahead and put the uh, MailChimp account right there. Put the password again and we should be good to go. Now let's see and log in. Here we have the authorization. I will click on allow and here we have it. Not now and it will be connected right away. After you have it here, save your design to your files in MailChimp. Click on save. And it will only save the design files directly to MailChimp. So we are not going to upload them on the MailChimp again. 
Now let's go ahead and wait and it has been saved. You are going to here in the MailChimp, let's say that you are going back right here. Simply go ahead to the MailChimp platform and then we are going to see the templates. We have here automation, we have the campaigns and we have everything set up. We are going to see here the uh, templates that we have created for example, our contacts, audience, dashboard, and etc. Let's go ahead to the campaigns and then we are going to create a campaign. Here we have the regular email, automation, and landing page. To let this uh, newsletter, you can go ahead and put a regular email. Click on design email. Simply, we are going to design that email. Here we have to from subject and the same time and the content. The first thing that you need to do is to set up the two. Here we have the all subscribers contact. You can add the recipients right here. You can choose the a segment, for example. When you finish this, click on save. From here, you have to set the email address of the sender, which is us. A little disclaimer, guys, everything created in this video, such as accounts and email addresses, are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. Here we have the subject. You can go ahead and add a subject, for example, newsletter. I'm going to put newsletter uh, or monthly newsletter. You can put a preview text right here. Click on save. The send time, you can edit a send time. You can schedule a time. And after that, you are going to set this a newsletter as an automation to send every uh, once in a month. When you finish this, click on design email. And here we have the templates. You go to save templates. You can go ahead and see this uh, or the drafts. You can go ahead and see the drafts emails. I highly recommend you to go to MailChimp templates. Then we are going to create from scratch. This is the first step that you need to do. Here we have the logo or the header. Now we are going to add, for example, a heading. You can go ahead and add a paragraph or you can simply go ahead and add an image. This is the first image. Click on add image. And here we have the uploads. As you can see, here we have the uploads ready. I'm going to insert one. Click on this one, add another image and insert the number two. I think this is the number two. And the number three will contain a header. Go back right here, add another image. Let's seek for images. Add it, click on add image. Go back here, add or not this one, but this one. This, uh, yeah, this is the image that contain the uh, second or the third part. This is not it. I'm going to replace it. Upload, not upload, but browse. And here we have it. This is it. Now, here we go. Now, let's go ahead right here to the images. Then we have to link the images to the uh, PDF files that we have linked or we have downloaded. The first thing that you need to do is to take a look to Google Drive. For example, or any holster that will upload the files into. Let's say that we are going to Google Drive. Here we have Google Drive. Simply, I'm going to put it right here and we'll wait for the files to be uploaded right away. And then we are going to get the links of these files. Then we are going to link them to each of these images. Eager, we are going to wait for it. Here it will start uploading soon. Here we have each file uploaded. I'm going to select the uh, images and see the preview. And simply we have this, uh, I think this is the second or the third image. Go ahead and click on share. Click on share then. Make sure to get the general access to anyone with the link. Copy that link. Remember this image. Go back here, select that image, go to the website, put it right here. Here we have it. For this one, it will take us to this one and go back right here to the second. Let's see here the preview. 
click on share also. Anyone with a link, copy that link. Go right here to the third page. Get link to right here, put it here. Here we go. Now for the last one, also share, get that link, put the access to anyone with the link. And here we have it. Link to open up. Here we have it. Save and exit when you finish everything right here. When you have set the footer and everything, then you can go ahead and create the campaign within this newsletter. Click on send and it will be sending to the 103 subscribers that we have. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one.